sheep heart. Um, first I want to show you the outer layer. The first layer here that's kind of shiny is the epicardium. It's a serous layer that covers the heart. The epicardium is the outside layer. The muscle layer here is the myocardium. And then lining the heart is a thin layer of epithelium called the endocardium. So lining the heart, you can see some shiny stuff right there. That's the endocardium. Continuous into the blood vessels with the endothelium. Now let's find the chambers of the heart. On this heart we have um, a very thick walled chamber and we have a thin walled chamber. The thick walled chamber that includes the apex of the heart is the left ventricle. So here we have the left ventricle, here we have the right ventricle. Now let's find them on this um, section of heart which is taken from an entirely different heart. Here's the apex and here is the left ventricle. It includes the apex. So here is the thick walled left ventricle. Here is a thinner wall, right ventricle, and the base of that does not go down to the apex. So this is right ventricle, left ventricle. Um, over here on this dissected heart, you can see the a little bit of the left atrium, but not a whole lot is visible here. But I know that's where the left atrium is because here is the bicuspid valve, this connective tissue right here is the bicuspid valve right there. Anchored by chordae tendinae, see the chordae tendinae right here, these little cords? Anchored by the chordae tendinae to papillary muscles, so little muscles that, um, little paps or nipples of muscles right here are the uh, papillary muscles. And if we can get past this, you can see that these anchor right down to it. See these chordae tendinae? They are attached right down to the papillary muscle right here. So papillary muscle, chordae tendinae, atrioventricular valve. This is on the left side, and its specific name is the bicuspid valve right here. Uh, here is the atrioventricular valve on the right side. And so that would be called the tricuspid valve which also has chordae tendinae and also goes down and attaches to the papillary muscles. Um, we have a big septum between the right and the left ventricle. This is the interventricular septum. On this particular heart, we can see that the left ventricle attaches to a large artery and part of it's cut off but this large artery that's attached to the left ventricle is the aorta. So from here up is the aorta. This is a good one because it shows this little pouch right here that the probe is in. That pouch is the aortic semilunar valve right there. The aortic semilunar valve. Okay. Let's go to this one. Here we can see the left atrium better than on the last dissection because here is the left ventricle, here are the chordae tendinae, here is the, the um, what's left of the flap of the bicuspid valve right there. And Superior to that is the left atrium. I've got the probe up here in the left atrium. As a matter of fact, the probe goes right from the left atrium up to what was a hole cut through a vessel. Actually, a vessel's been removed. The probe is in what would, what's left of the uh, pulmonary veins because they attach to the left atrium. Right. Okay, here's a di uh, different heart, um, section through a heart. Here is the left ventricle, right here. Who's the apex? Here's the right. Let's get in here to the right so that we're able to see. I can get my fingers here. Um, 
down here is the right ventricle. Here is the tricuspid valve. You can see the connective tissue flaps. And above it is the atrium. Now we're looking for the great vessels associated with the atrium. So I'm going to put the probe in here. Um, I'm going to put the probe this way. It, goes, it's, it is in the right, vent, right atrium. The probe is going through a blood vessel that has been actually cut. So really it's just a hole at this point. That is the superior vena cava right there, kind of going up. Now there is another one kind of going over to the side like that more of a lateral vessel, that is what's left of the inferior vena cava. Okay, can you see the probe right there? That is the coronary sinus. See where I'm moving it? That's the opening to the coronary sinus right there. Here we have the article of the atrium. This is the atrium is in underneath, associated with uh, this article flap here, that would be the right one. Here would be the left one. Again, here we are, right ventricle, tricuspid valve. Above that would be the right atrium. On this heart, you can see the probe through a vessel here, a great vessel, and it is opening into the right ventricle. Therefore, this vessel must be the pulmonary artery or pulmonary trunk. So there's the pulmonary artery or pulmonary trunk, and you know it, that is what it is because it is opening to the right ventricle. Here's an excellent example of papillary muscle. You can see this big nipple of muscle right here. That's the papillary muscle. You can also see within the ventricle the trabeculae carne, it's all these ridges of muscle right here called the trabeculae carne in the ventricle. In the atria, that would be called pectinate muscle.